Hey YouTube, it's the Trendy Socialite. I hope all is well with you. I wanted to do a video to share with you um, my experience. If you watch my videos, you know um, I've alluded to the fact that I am a um, PK, a pastor's or a preacher's kid. Um, and so I was searching on YouTube one day about that and I didn't really see any videos with people sharing their experiences. People share everything else on YouTube, I thought for sure. There would be a ton of videos from PKs <laughs> about their experiences. Maybe, maybe that's not something we like to share. But anyway, I'm gonna share. Uh, I think a couple of things that make me a little different is the fact that a lot of people assume that um, the father is the pastor or the preacher, and in my case, it's my mom. She's um, a pastor. She's been preaching for 12 years. And then the other thing is the fact that I didn't grow up necessarily a PK. I, um, my mom preached her initial sermon when I was 23. So it's something that I've had to grow into as an adult. Um, I think that there are a lot of assumptions and stereotypes uh, when it comes to, to PKs. One of the things that I had to get used to pretty quickly was, um, sometimes a lack of privacy uh, because I am you know the pastor's kid or whatever uh, people uh, and I'm not a celebrity don't don't hear me say that at all not anywhere close to a celebrity not popular none of that kind of stuff but because um, I travel with my mom while since she's been a preacher, even before she was a preacher, she was ministering at women's days and women's conferences and retreats and things like that. People sort of started recognizing me. Um, and that sort of led to me feeling sometimes mostly internal pressure, but sometimes some external pressure to be on, um, to be kind of on it and present myself this certain way. Um, and, you know, there have been times where I've been in places where I didn't want to interact with people that knew me or recognized me. There have been times where I've been in restaurants and, you know, I, I had a drink on the table and people coming up to me, you know, talking to me about my mom or, you know, asking me if I'm Minister Rogers' daughter or what have you. And, you know, I'm just like, oh. For me and, you know, Jesus became tight like that. Like, yeah, I was, that was, that was a little, that was, a, that put me off a little bit. That was a little frustrating for me. Um, mostly I was frustrated with myself for, you know, putting myself, in, I guess, in that position. And, and um, sort of putting my mom in an awkward position with that. Um. And then the other thing that I've had to, to get used to is um, having to sort of back off a little bit. Because if you know me, you hear me talk for more about five, ten minutes, you know that I am very pit bull doggish about my family, my parents, my friends, people that I care about. Like, I will go. Ooh, straight for your jugular. You mess with my people. Like, I, mm -mm. I don't play that. Homie, don't play that. So, um, there have been times where I have wanted to say something. Where I have wanted to roll my eyes. Where I've wanted to not speak to people and give them the gas face. Like, you know, give them that, like that Martin once up and down look. I've wanted to do that to people, and I haven't been able to, one, because, you know, trying to represent God's light as much as possible, and two, because I'm not trying to negatively affect my mom's ministry. So um, I've learned a lot of long-suffering <laughs> and patience and temperance through this process. Um, one of the things that has been challenging, I guess, for me is... Uh, is new friendships like my old crew like all of you know people that have that have known me for years I mean and, and people that know me 
um, and that have taken the time to get to know me, um, like, they're fine. Like, our relationship is good. They, they know me for who I am. Um, but I've, I've had trouble as of late with, um, with new friendships and with people sort of assuming because I'm a PK that I'm supposed to, to be a certain way or I'm supposed to, um, I don't know, sort of always be on once again. And when I do act out of character or when I don't make the best decision or when I go off or when I say something, you know, insensitive or hurtful, like, I just feel sometimes that I, I don't get as much grace as someone that's not a PK. And maybe I shouldn't. Maybe. I, I'm not above uh, exploring that. Um, but at the same time, I'm, I'm human as well. Um, and so I think that's the thing that I've had to struggle with and come to grips with is that there, there is an expectation there. Um, and when I don't live up to it, that, you know, some people may put, <laughs> put me out, put me out of their life and, and, and end friendships over that. Um, so, yeah, I, I've had to do a lot of introspection in the past couple of weeks over that. Cause someone made a comment to me about, you know, their interaction with PKs and, um, so anyway.